Section 8. Paying the Bill. Useful Sentences. 1. Excuse me, could I get the check, please? 2. It's on me. This is my treat. I'll take care of it. 3. Where should I pay? Check, please. Waiter, we'd like to check the bill, please. 4. Let me handle the check. Let me get it. 5. I don't have any cash with me. We accept credit card and cash. 6. Do you accept traveler's check? Yes, of course. 7. Here is your bill. How would you like to pay for it? I'm going to pay with my card. Here you are. 8. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. 9. Your bill comes to $205. Keep the change. 10. Is tip included on this bill? What is this for? 11. Could we get some doggy bags, please? I want to take this food with me. Could you wrap this? 12. Do you need any to-go boxes? No, thanks. 13. Do you need change? Keep the extra money as your tip. 14. Okay. Have a good night. Useful Conversations 1. Pay the bill. Check, please. Here you go. That will be $40. All I have is $50. Do you have change? Of course. Here you go. $10 is your change. Thank you. And could I have a toothpick? It is by the door on the way out. Two, bill and tip. Excuse me, we are finished. Can you bring us the bill? Of course. Here you go. It looks like you charged us for three drinks, but there are only two people here. That's right. You ordered a soda and your friend ordered a tea and mixed drink. Oh, I thought the tea was free. I'm sorry. No problem. Do you need change? No. Please keep the extra money as your tip. Have a good evening. Thanks. Mary, how much did you leave her as a tip? Five percent. It is customary to leave about 15 percent. Five percent is too low. Oh, okay. I will leave more money on the table. Useful paragraph. We decide that what makes us significant is either what we do or what we refuse to do. But no matter how indifferent the universe may be to our choices and decisions, these choices and decisions ours to make, we decide, we choose, and as we decide and choose, so are our lives formed. In the end, forming our own destiny is what ambition is about. Chapter 7. Sightseeing. Section 1. Inquiring. Useful Sentences. 1. When was this museum built? Do you know the time period this was built in? 2. Is there a souvenir shop here? 3. Excuse me, could you please tell me where the National Park is? It's up ahead to your right. 4. Is there anything historical about this area? There are many historical landmarks here. 5. I want to enjoy some natural scenery. I want to enjoy things that are different from cities. 6. Would you please do me a favor? 7. Excuse me, could you tell me how much is the ticket? 8. Could I take pictures here, please? 9. Would you show me where it is? Walk along this road and it will be on your left. 10. Please tell me the nearest way to the tower. Useful Conversations 1. Find the Golden Gate Bridge. Excuse me. I am trying to find the Golden Gate Bridge. Well, it's easy to spot. It's the biggest bridge in the city. 
Yes, I know that, but I can't seem to find the street it is on. Just go ten blocks south and take a right. Okay, great. Thank you. Two, recommend some interesting places. Excuse me, I am new to New York City. Are there some interesting places to visit nearby? Of course, you can see a play on Broadway, see Central Park, or visit a huge toy store. That sounds interesting, but I would also like to eat some local food. New York City is famous for its style of pizza. What style is that? The pizza is very flat and oily. I also know of a good cheesecake restaurant. I love cheesecake. What's it called? Roxy's in Times Square, which is also a very important place to visit in this city. Broadway, Central Park, Times Square, pizza, and cheesecake. That sounds great. Useful paragraph. If you really want to fly. Just harness your power to your passion, honor your calling. Everybody has one. Trust your heart, and success will come to you. Section two, going to a gallery. Useful sentences. One, admission for one, please. Three tickets for adults, please. Two. I'd like to see Van Gogh's works. Can you tell me where they are? Three. This painting is not for sale. All the works in this gallery are only for display, not for sale. Four. I will give you a brief introduction of this painting. This painting is originated from ancient times. Five. I love this painting so much. Could you please tell me how much it is? Today I will show you the works of Picasso. Seven, can I discuss with the painter? Could you tell us a little about this one, please? Eight, look at those beautiful paintings. Let's take pictures of them. Sorry, flash photos are not allowed here. Nine, when was this painting created? It was painted in 1911. Ten, hey, let's go check out the gift shop. It is more expensive, but it's worth the money. Useful conversations. One, love going to art galleries. Today, let's go to an art gallery. Oh, I love going to art galleries. Me too. There are many paintings to look at. I also like to look at the pottery. At this gallery, we can look at paintings and pottery made by local artists. That's wonderful. Let's go. Two, at the Renwick Gallery. Here at the Renwick Gallery in Washington D.C., we can view many interesting things. What type of things? Nineteenth-century American arts and crafts made from clay, wood, glass, and metal. I heard that the Renwick Gallery is a part of the Smithsonian American Art Museum. Yes, that's true. Although the Renwick Building itself was built in 1874. The nineteenth century was about two hundred years ago, right? That doesn't seem very old. Well, remember that the United States of America was officially formed in the late seventeen hundreds. So, for Americans, something that is two hundred years old seems very old, right? That's right. It's not like other countries with longer histories. Useful paragraph. No problem is permanent. Storms always give way to the sun. Winter always thaws into springtime. Your storm will pass. Your winter will thaw. Your problem will be solved. Section three, visiting a museum. Useful sentences. One, excuse me. How much is the museum ticket, please? Two, please keep your bag here. Three, I'm afraid we can't take pictures in the museum.
Flash photography is not permitted. 4. Can I take a photo for this? Yes, of course. Go ahead. 5. Excuse me, could you take a picture for me? Sure. 6. I'm just looking around. 7. What are these for? 8. I'm sorry I didn't follow you. I beg your pardon. 9. Do not touch the exhibits. No photos. 10. Could you remind the kids to be quiet? Thank you for your cooperation. Useful conversations. 1. The mummies. This museum is full of ancient artifacts. Which ones do you like? I like to look at the mummies. You like to look at dead people? No, I like to learn about who they were. So you like to study their history? Yes, I think they were once great people. Two, the American Museum of Natural History. Which museum are we going to here in New York City and how much does it cost? It's called the American Museum of Natural History and tickets are only $19 per person. Wow, that's a good price. What can we see there? Oh, they have a lot. You can learn about anything from things on Earth to the stars. You mean they have more than just old artifacts? Oh, yes. They have exhibitions on many things from dinosaurs to space. Wow, that is exciting. I want to see something about the Earth's oceans. They have something about animals in the ocean that emit light. I can't wait. Let's go inside. Useful paragraph. Nobody's journey is seamless or smooth. We all stumble. We all have setbacks. If things go wrong, you hit a dead end, as you will. It's just life's way of saying time to change course. Section 4. Visiting former residences of celebrities. Useful sentences. 1. Excuse me, is this the way to Shakespeare's previous home? Go along this road, you'll see it on your left. 2. Do you know where Hans Christian Andersen's previous home is? No, I don't. 3. Can you tell me exactly where that is located? I'm not sure of the exact address. 4. Okay, I think I know where it is now. Thank you. You are welcome. 5. The sculpture was built to commemorate the great writer. 6. Shakespeare was born and died here. In fact, he was not born there. 7. He was born in a rich family in Calcutta. He grew up in Italy and he loved there. 8. She has been lived here for almost her whole life. 9. It's very nice looking. 10. The house has the poet's manuscript, works, and portraits. Useful Conversations 1. My Favorite Celebrity's Home Excuse me, I would like to visit my favorite celebrity's home. There is a website online where you can view all the celebrities' addresses. Really? Don't they care if you know where they live? No, it is public information, but you shouldn't bother the people who live there. Okay, I will just look. Thanks. Two, Michael Jackson's previous home. Excuse me, is this the way to Michael Jackson's previous home? Yes, you are going the right way. Just continue down this road and it's on your left. Thank you. I won't be able to go inside. Could you tell me anything about it? I haven't seen the inside of the home myself, but I have seen some pictures. Oh, what did you see? Well, the house has a spa an in-home theater, and an elevator. It's very nice looking. Wow, an elevator? 
I wish I had an elevator in my home. Me too. I would use it to move new furniture into my home. Useful paragraph. One may fall in love with many people during the lifetime. When you finally get your own happiness, you will understand the previous sadness as a kind of treasure, which makes you better to hold and cherish the people you love. Section 5. Visiting a famous university. Useful sentences. 1. I am going to visit Harvard University this weekend. 2. It is the second oldest surviving university in the world. 3. It is located in the United Kingdom. 4. The university has more than 100 libraries. 5. Oxford maintains a number of museums and galleries in addition to its libraries. 6. Harvard's history, influence, and wealth have made it one of the most prestigious universities in the world. 7. I really like this university. 8. This university has a very long history. 9. President John F. Kennedy graduated from this university. 10. Harvard is the oldest institution of higher education in the United States. Useful Conversations 1. Visit Harvard University Where are you going this weekend? I am going to visit Harvard University. Do you want to go to college there? Possibly, but I really just want to see what a famous university looks like. That one definitely is famous. It's the oldest university in the U.S. Two, a long history university. I really like this university. I would like to know more about it. This university has a very long history. I know that, but what advancements has it made? Well, our students have found a way to grow food cheaply and easily in poor areas. It's great. Wow, the campus is so beautiful. Yes. Useful paragraph. A good book may be among the best of friends. It is the same today that it always was, and it will never change. It is the most patient and cheerful of companions. It does not turn its back upon us in times of adversity or distress. It always receives us with the same kindness, amusing and instructing us in youth and comforting and consoling us in age.